Hi, I'm Roxanne van der Laert, Diabetics Head of Operations. In our last X in-depth video, I explained how our AI-driven generative thermal design process differs from the conventional approach. Today, I'm getting hands-on, showing you how we design from start to finish. The cooling jacket, one of the most critical components in electric vehicles today and one of the main catalysts to the power growth of e-motors. Without this incredible cooling cylinder, EVs may not be on the road as we know them. So it begs the question, how do we design hyper-efficient cooling jackets? Let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is to set up the geometry. So the region that you see here is the region of the cooling jacket without any cooling channels. The next region we need to define is a region where fluid can flow. So this is represented by the blue region. Then another region we will define is the design region. So this region, the design region indicates where cooling channels can be formed. So it's the orange region. And then the fourth region we have here is the outside of the motor. Okay, so then the second thing we will define is the area where heat will be applied, the inlet and the outlet, and these are indicated by the patches over here. So here you see the heated wall, which is the area where heat will be applied, the inlet at the right, and the outlet at the left. So what you see over here is the right and left of the fluid region. Okay, so now our geometry is set up and now we can start with the case setup for our optimization. So we will start, we click on the case setup button. Okay, what you see here is all the regions that we defined in our geometry and at the bottom you see all the patches that we have defined. And now each region we will define, we will assign a material to it. So we do that by clicking on define region. So the solid PE will be a solid region, which is actually the cooling jacket, will, which will be 3D printed in a plastic material. So we will select the PA12 material. And here you can see all the material properties of this PA12. What you see here is the heat source, should, if the region um, should have a volumetric heat uh, source as well, but it's not, it's not the case here. And this is actually the initial temperature of the region in the simulation. Then we will define our solid alu, which will be an aluminum. Our fluid region, which will be water. So fluid, we select water. Then the last region we need to define is a design region. So we see here that the parent region is a fluid region and the secondary material is actually the material of which cooling channels should be formed. So in this case, we will select the PA12. Okay, and now we should define our patches. So for our heated wall, we have a power of 500 55 watt and the temperature should be limited to 361.9 Kelvin. Then the other patch we need to define is the inlet. So we will set a volumetric flow rate of 0 0.000067. We have an inlet temperature of 333 Kelvin and the pressure at the limit uh, at the inlet should be limited to 5000 pascal. Okay, so now all our regions and patches are defined and now we can start with the optimization setup. So we select mode optimization. We set the objective. So in this case, we want to minimize the temperature and we select the constraint. So in this case, we have a pressure drop constraint. Then the last thing we will define is a manufacturing method. So in this case, the cooling jacket should be 3D printed. And the tool size is set to 0 0.0026 meter. 
um, which is actually the minimum wall thickness of the cooling jacket. Okay, so now our case setup is finished and now we submit our case to our virtual engineer to start the design. Our cooling jackets are future-proof. They're the highest performing on the market and made for the highest powered e-motors around. I hope you enjoyed seeing our design process in action. Stay tuned by subscribing to our YouTube channel for more case studies like this. Thanks for watching and see you on the next X in depth.